Uh, thank you, Lisa, for joining us in the uh, first of our series of uh, interviewing Hello and Hello Chain team members. Um, and we really want to uh, get to know you more and get to know more about the individuals uh, working on Holo and Holo Chain. Um, so, so thank you for, for joining us. And Absolutely. I'll, yeah. So I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and let you introduce yourself and then I'll introduce myself. Perfect. My name is Lisa Jatan. Um, I am one of the UI developers on Holo. And yeah, very excited to be a part of this conversation and being able to just highlight um, some insights from our team and Holo Chain and from Holo and Holo and Chain in general. Thank you so much for asking me to be here and connect with the community. Um, we're constantly moving and growing, so I, I appreciate as our community grows that we can connect even further. So it's fun. Hmm. Yeah. So that's me. <laughs> and uh, my name is Micah Jefferson. Uh, so I'm currently the what's called the Growth and Delivery Coordinator, which can span a few few different areas in the team. But I mm -hmm. um, definitely do a lot of customer support and um, internal team support. So um, yeah, I'm always happy to. Uh, help uh, anyone as far as like communications go, communicating from inside to outside and outside to in. Um, so this is uh, one of the ways that we're doing that is just reaching out to the community, uh, making sure your voices are heard, and um, definitely like letting you guys know who we are and, and what we're up to. Um, so yeah, I'll just dive into the first uh, few questions if you're ready, Lisa. Perfect. Sounds good. Yeah. So um, to get to know you more, uh, could you tell us a little bit about your story? Um, sort of how did you find Holo Holo Chain and um, what was your experience um, moving from, I believe you started at a, a hackathon uh, yes, and you were a New York person and now you're part of the organization. Absolutely. Yeah. It has been quite a journey. <laughs> I'll first start. Um, yeah, just describing like how I was as being an active developer. I live in Austin, first and foremost, let me say that. So being an active developer in our Austin community and the hackathons and um, volunteer events and how I moved into being an intern first with Holochain and then an employee uh, where I am now with Holo. Um, so yeah, um, I'd say I feel very fortunate to live in Austin because it is so exposed to so many different types of vibrant technologies um, and everyone's really seeking out um, a better future for the whole of our community and um, each other in general. Um, so I had been involved in different hackathons such as um, the Woman Who Codes third annual diversity hackathon where we support other women in some fields or the um, Hack for Life hackathon, um, which was promoted by St. Edwards University. And we went through like there are 22 different real life problems and domains from like health to um, uh, education to politics and people would just approach those problems and try and create solutions and technology for them in that moment. So it, it was kind of fun to see things come together. And it was in that moment and those days that I was active in that, those communities that I came across um, Holochain and they promoted themselves, we were promoting ourselves as um, post blockchain technology and that was so intriguing to me just the what, what you know what did that mean it had so much complexity just in that one sentence so um, so I went I, I went to the hackathon and um, it's fun to hear like to think about it from the perspective of when I was there and now from the other perspective I know how it was for my friends and teammates now at that time but apparently like um, it was one of the the most um, volunteered and staffed um, events, but I remember being there and being like, wow, there, everyone here that I've met from Holochain is not only like specific in, in their knowledge and their intention, and, and they can tell you exactly why they're doing what they're doing, but they're so passionate about it. And it was just everyone. And so I feel fortunate because I was able to interact with so many people at that one event that represented what Holochain is and what they're pursuing. And so for me, um, it was, so just to kind of back up, I know many people in our community know this, but it is for me the combination of, of um, the philosophy of helping build a better um, internet, a better connection, a better uh, cognition of help, helping um, be aware of what data is and being in control of our own personal identity and use of our data. And there's so much complexity in how we interact and share data today, um, but, what really meant something to me was everyone there found both the benefit of having authorship, not like sacrificing your voice for control, but then also understanding the, the importance of 
being fully aware of access and fully aware of, of um, being fully in control of who you share the access with. So, I mean, long story short, I learned a lot there and then um, immediately fell in love with the organization, uh, pursued following an internship with Holochain, which um, followed for three months, well, 10 weeks essentially, in Denver. And I got the opportunity to meet up with uh, five other incredible developers and minds. Um, we had people, many of them are actually a part of our organization today. Um, but we had people coming all the way from um, Mumbai, India to, um, to uh, all, you know, Oregon, um, Portland, Oregon, and we had Atlanta, Georgia, and myself coming from Austin, Texas, and we had, uh, you know, Inner Mongolia, China. So, I mean, so many perspectives coming to one. It really was um, like such a quintessential like description of what Holochain was, like multiple perspectives coming together, still having identity in the combination, but being able to work towards a mutual future. And uh, mm -hmm. that was, it was beautiful. Uh, but during the internship itself, we actually worked on um, projects that were still still in use today. I mean, they've gone through many different iterations, many different, um, you know, rethinking and reevaluating. But the cool thing was when we were interning, we weren't just, you know, doing the any any superfluous or like kind of like oh like testing projects. It was like we are getting our hands dirty and actually helping out in what the projects you know we think matter. Um, so again, this is reinforcing kind of the value that Holochain places on each individual and in, in our organization. Um, and so my part in that, I actually really did enjoy working more on the, the UI side of things. Um, that was more my experience prior and in leading into this. So um, I enjoyed seeing how I could create UIs that matched with um, Holochain itself and deliver that as a full application for people to interact with the Holochain um, architecture um, without necessarily having to know what that was, but just they got to use it. And so at the completion of the internship, um, I was able to continue as an well, working with Holo and as an employee with Holo. Um, yeah, and so I guess that's where I am today. I'll say a little piece over the past three months, um, or not three months, but three months specifically, I've been so focused on um, our closed alpha efforts. And then prior to that, I was um, able to um, actually still promote and be a part of um, active development communities, showing up as a face of Holo and Holochain. Um, so I was participating in the Holochain Hackathon in Brooklyn, New York, and then also um, we sponsored a, an event in uh, Manhattan, um, New York as well, for the Crypto Chicks. And so it's fun to actually be there and be a, um, actually a, um, a voice piece into what Holochain was, because many people, for, of course, there also were new to just the word or the idea. So um, it's been fun because I get to continue a little bit of, of that community involvement while still developing um, UIs for Holo. So yeah, I guess, and it's not really an in a nutshell, but that's been my <laughs> journey. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite full. So I mean, that doesn't even encompass it all, but it gives you hopefully a feel of the, the movement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, been an amazing, amazing experience for myself, and to see and hear what you've gone through is, it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. And I kind of have a, a slightly follow up question um, with that. Uh, is there anything um, that you've seen that is a big shift from previous positions that you've had, or like, I guess, what is a, maybe one thing that you've um, experienced working on the team that you've not experienced anywhere else? So many things, <laughs> so many things that are unique about this experience. Um, but I mean, for me, one thing that is resonates with the organization in general, just as a person, a human in this place, is um, how much trust and um, like value everyone places in each other. So we are constantly. Everyone has holds a significant. Um, role in our organization and everyone is mutually interdependent yet de in independent of what they're doing so we know what we're doing we're focused on what we're doing but we're also bringing together our parts and, and recognize that it's the the relationship between our parts that make the great greatness of what we're developing and so um, in doing so in our communications even like the like regularly we'll have we'll reevaluate um, our processes and just the fact that we can do that, it's not like this is your set way of doing it, you know, kind of abide by this or move on kind of thing. It's like, no, we're, we're flexible. We're moving with um, each other. And we recognize that if, 
we're trying to develop something that enhances um, you know, agency and autonomy and interaction with each other, we actually have to live that out in real life while we're developing this. And so I see that through and through in our, both in my team separate, in like the small team of Holo or like the bigger organization of Holo Chain. Um, you know, so I've enjoyed just the time that I've been here, there's been many iterations and many consideration, reconsiderations of like how to interact with each other and um, uphold the, the best communication um, and efficiency as possible. Um, so I, for me, that would be the biggest point. Um, and then also just like the, the collaboration. I mean, in, in spite of uh, how quickly everything's moving and changing and how sometimes people can be so um, entrenched in, in their work, everyone's still willing to just give, give feedback, give, um, you know, help out someone, understand why they engineered whatever project they're working on this particular way and how it can interact because of, of course that's necessary, but I mean, sometimes that's not always the way and, and um, you know, human psychology can always react that way, but I find that specifically, um, we built a team of people that have, are of like minds and want to really create something that they want to live out themselves. So it's, it's really resonates in, in my experience day to day. Oh, very cool. Um, so something in that um, also speaks to the next question of sort of how, how we relate. Um, so one thing um, that I appreciated sharing when uh, I came into the organization was like what my superpower is or what I feel really exemplifies who I am as a person. Yes. Um, yes. So I'll share with you, like I cool. consider my superpower dance, like I, I love to, to b-boy break dance. Um, You're an awesome dancer. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're we're wondering like, what is your superpower? What what do you consider uh, something very special about yourself you want to share with the community? Yeah, that's a fun question. Um, <laughs> you know, I actually was first thinking myself dance because I actually grew up dancing. But I honestly, I think for me, it's it's more about expression because I feel like I like dancing, but sometimes I find my the, what I enjoy. Personally, when I'm dancing is just my, my freedom of movement and ability to express my thoughts in that way. But I find that's also what I enjoy when I'm creating, you know, UIs or when I'm like talking to people and be from different cultures or in different languages. It's like really it's the ability to express and receive and communicate. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, I've just a little bit of insight into me. I, I um, lived in France for several years and I do enjoy speaking other languages and, and knowing other cultures and um i also speak some spanish so it's just one thing that i enjoy about the ability to see from different perspectives is the ability that um you understand expression from many different angles but yet despite the word choice or the constructs of you know whatever framework of language or thought patterns you you grow up in people still are able to evoke you know a meaning and an essence that we can communicate and receive and um, I don't I found I just find that so beautiful in the different formats that we can do that so um, for me that's I enjoy doing that <laughs> I would say that's my superpower very cool um, yeah I really like that that expression is um, is your superpower um, so I guess what what inspires you then um, is is does some of that lead into um, how you approach your work or, or what really like gets you going gets you up in the morning yes um i mean what inspires me yes i really I, i'm inspired because of our cause in the morning what gets me up in the morning is like i actually really enjoy what i'm developing but if we just take a step back um in general um what i find inspiring is when people are willing to look at their life and ask why or ask challenging questions about like what defines where they are and it might not always be like comfortable or what you know to kind of they can see it from where they are but then also maybe try and see it from a different perspective and ask you know and redefine that that space because i feel like for me one of the reasons i how new technologies that really benefit people emerge such as holochain is because you're coming from a you know, plurality of thought and lenses and um, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of vision to get there. And so, but it first starts with the question. And so I think um, really, I, I find it inspiring when people are willing to take that, um, the courage to ask. Um, so that first and foremost, but then, yeah, what gets me up in the morning, continue. Honestly, I mean, I, it might sound kind of cheesy, but I, I've never felt this way with any other company before. I just, 
I really enjoy getting up and working and being with my teammates and feel like I'm providing value and I have a purpose towards what I'm developing. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I totally resonate with that. That's been um, what's kept me going for, for so long. Um, yeah, yeah. Almost, <laughs> almost two years with the organization starting in an internship in 2017. And yeah, it's just like, it's such a passion project. And that's, that's how I describe exactly. it to my friends and family. Yeah. 